Hey everybody, it's your boy Chicken. I uh, just wanted to kind of reach out and say I hope everybody had a good holiday weekend. Um, I know I put out that short Happy Easter video with a little bit of a teaser like, hey, watch tomorrow's video. Um, um, I may have overpromised. <laughs> so, uh, sorry I've been missing. Um, life stuff and Easter kind of kind of hit simultaneously. Um, along with, you know, some work stuff. Um, when Damon Zell talked about his son, it really touched me because, um, when my daughter was born, she went through some very similar stuff. Um, it, it really kind of like drew me in a little bit to him as a content creator, um, cause I was able to identify with that. And in growing as a content creator, I kind of wanted to follow that lead and ex uh, kind of expose myself, <laughs> as it were. Um, not about my daughter, you know, uh, but um, just to kind of explain where I've been uh, after, you know, saying I'm going to do a couple videos a week. I, uh, I got a piece of paper with a bunch of notes and stuff, so that's why I keep looking down. Um, I wanted to put something out. Uh, and part of the reason I wanted to do that was because this, um, well, I'll get to that. Let me, I have ADHD, so this kind of happens. That's why I have notes now. Getting better every day. Um, so, uh, I got some bad news about my pay at work. Um, my end take-home pay, um, uh, was going to be going down because of a couple of changes in the organization. Um, my role was changing. Anyway. Um, irrelevant. Um, uh, but my pay was going down, uh, super bummed me out, you know, being a father of a small child. Um, the, uh, also my grandfather had, uh, passed away. He was in his early nineties. So, um, you know, definitely lived a full life. Um, uh, but that happened, uh, also then the Easter holiday right after that. And, um, I had an in the industry I work in also had a holiday right after that. So, uh, needless to say, my life has been really busy. Uh, and, uh, uh, otherwise every waking moment was occupied. So I didn't really get a chance to put together a video, uh, for everybody to see. Um, so I do want to take the time to apologize for not meeting my own commitments, um, and say thank you very much for those who have subscribed, and, um, to anyone watching this later, um, you know, it'd be cool if you subscribed. So, so uh, that being said, um, uh, during all that time, I was able to, uh, 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 get an interview with not one but uh two uh people and the topic um uh, well we'll get to the topic um where am i at uh so uh i've uh i've gr i've been able to grieve my losses both my family and my work and i'm kind of like Ready to follow that oomph again. Um, ready to be excited. And um, speaking of excited, you know, during all that time, I was able to get that interview that I alluded to uh, in my Easter video and about two minutes ago. Um, also, I'm really, uh, and, and that I'm super excited to share with everyone. So I definitely want to get it right. Um, uh, I want to, uh, I've got some new graphics, I got a new intro. Uh, I'm going to be uh, showcasing all that in in uh, in upcoming stuff. Um, uh, one thing I am also excited about is that they, at least they say, they used the feedback that everybody gave. So thank you very much for going into the uh, test server and submitting that feedback. Um, w the jury is out if they only used legit feedback or if they were bombarded. I'm not in that front. I've kind of seen both sides of it. Uh, speaking of both sides of it, I see, uh, you know, in Discord and in Reddit, um, the, uh, at least the, uh, Echoes underscore Eve Reddit, um, that's the one I'm personally part of, uh, 
there was some drama a while back, <laughs> and uh, I got perma banned for a first offense. Needless to say, I support Echoes underscore Eve on Reddit. Check it out. Um, <laughs> so uh, if you want to interact with me on Reddit, that's where I'll be. Um, uh, sorry to get sidetracked. Uh, my point was that um, I've seen on both sides people really like and really dislike the the update to the changes. Um, you know, there, there was, uh, I, I haven't taken the time to fully go through all those, uh, changes yet to see how it directly affects me. Um, but I have, uh, had, uh, time to talk to, uh, pilot to my corp and pilot to my alliance and, um, of the pilot to my corp, um, actually, I haven't had a chance to talk to the Violence My Alliance about this change. It, there was other things, but anyway, um, the the thing that uh, the overall uh, the pilot to fly just a variety of different ships were overall pleased with the changes. The initial impressions are the changes to the uh, patch update are good. Um, if they're doing it based off feedback, if they're doing it based off of fine-tuning uh, fine some of the things that just weren't quite right, like, I'm totally down. Um, my jury's still out. Go out there, experience it. Read that full list of patch notes. Um, just go to the Eve Echoes website and click on patch notes. You'll be able to see the most recent one. Scroll through. It's a long list. Um, I'm not going to bore you by reading it to you, uh, but please go check it out. Um, also, there's going to be a number of other content creators who are going to give you a much better and succinct way. I mean, I'm just trying to tell you what happened with my channel. We're already at seven minutes. So, <laughs> uh, I'm almost done, though. Um, the, uh, that being said, uh, they, um, you know, they didn't super nerf the scepters. Um, but uh, we'll see how all the rest of the changes that they did kind of balance with that. Maybe they didn't need to nerf the scepters as much because of the upgrades to uh, destroyers and to interdictors, both heavy and light. Um, uh, my personal feeling is that this feels like a push towards more small gang stuff and more diverse fleets. And speaking of diverse fleets... I did an interview researching uh, a, a topic and was able to catch two people at the same time. Great, right? Um, so, uh, but I got a lot of really good info. And it was an hour and a half long interview. So that's what's taken me so long. Is I want to go through, I want to cut out the de as much dead air as I can. I think I cough a few times in it. I can't cut all the coughs. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I basically want to go through and get this right because it's an hour and a half long. I haven't decided if it's going to be a three part or a six part thing. I'm going to try to keep the parts easily digestible, but then also interesting so that it keeps your attention and you feel like each one operates on its own. Not like you're forced to watch more than one. I highly recommend watching them all. Um, but I think each one will live as its own part. Um, the, the, uh, the, basically, like, uh, I'm trying to take everything a lot more seriously now, and the, I've hit the hard work meets uh, life part of YouTubing and uh, on this journey. And so I just wanted to say it's taken me a little longer than expected because it's my first interview format and, you know, I, I wasn't too good at, at call control, as it were. Um, so there's a lot of good stuff and, and some tangents that I need to kind of rile in. Uh, that being said, um, basically, uh, the topic is uh, becoming an FC from just a PvP. -er. I don't know if that's the title I want to be using or if it's so you want to be a FC. Um, anyway, I just want to say thank you very much for your patience and taking the time to watch this update. Um, and um, the next video that will be published by me will be part one of my interview series. Uh, so you want to be a FC? All right. Deuces.